Well, guys, I have a very exciting story for you today about a recent islet cell transplant that was performed in Illinois in August, and it was on a 69-year-old gentleman who's had diabetes for years, and guess what? He's no longer diabetic. Hit the like and subscribe, and we'll get into it right now. Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Man stopped daily insulin injections after transplant? University of Illinois Health, UI Health, performs an islet cell transplant on a 69-year-old. When did this happen, and what's the story? Here's what we found on this exciting story. UI Health islet cell transplant in a 69-year-old patient and the background story. What happened and when? On August 26, 2025, UI Health, University of Illinois Hospital, UIC, performed what it describes as the first islet cell transplant using Lantidra the first FDA-approved islet cell therapy for brittle type 1 diabetes. The patient, Edward Ed Augustin III, age 69, was able to stop daily insulin injections within about a week after the transplant. This procedure is being positioned by UI Health as significant because, in contrast, islet transplants have traditionally been experimental. This one used an FDA-approved product, Lantidra, and is intended to be covered by insurance. The backstory and significance. Here's the fuller context. Lantidra is a pancreatic islet cell therapy derived from donor pancreases that was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in June 2023 for adults with type 1 diabetes who suffer from severe hypoglycemia or hypoglycemia unawareness. Its mechanism is that isolated islet insulin-producing cells are infused via catheter into the liver portal venous system where they can begin to produce insulin in response to blood glucose. Why is this case special? In many past cases, islet transplants were done under experimental or clinical trial settings. This UI Health case is being heralded as one of the first in the US done as an FDA-approved therapy with insurance coverage rather than purely under investigational protocols. The patient is older, 69. In a quote, Dr. Quo Enrico Benedetti, head of surgery at UI Health, said that at that age, a full pancreas transplant would be too risky but islet transplantation offers a lower risk group. This is not the first time this particular patient has undergone islet transplants. Augustin had two prior islet transplants in 2011 under experimental protocols, which gave him about 12 years of insulin independence. But by 2023, he again needed daily insulin. The rapid recovery is notable. Instead of long hospital stays typical of whole organ transplants, he was discharged within 24 hours. Even with islet transplantation, or Lantidra, patients must take immunosuppressive, anti-rejection, medications to prevent graft rejection. Long-term function of transplanted islets can decline over time, and sometimes patients may need additional infusions or to resume insulin therapy eventually. There's always the supply constraint, availability of donor pancreas islets, and matching or compatibility issues. Institutional background UI Health has a history of involvement in islet transplantation research. They previously ran clinical trials under investigational new drug protocols for islet transplantation. The development of Lantidra itself was rooted in research efforts at UI Health and UIC. The procedure was performed on August 26, 2025. The recipient was Edward Ed Augustin III, a 69-year-old from Libertyville, Illinois. UI Health reports he was able to stop daily insulin within about a week. Why it matters, UI Health describes this as their first FDA-approved Lantidra islet cell transplant performed as an approved therapy and one of the first U.S. cases delivered as a billed insured therapy rather than only in trials. Lantidra received FDA approval in 2023 and has been available at UI Health since late 2024. UI Health's press materials summarize trial results they were involved with. 70% insulin independence at one year in prior trials and 90% reduction in severe hypoglycemia, figures quoted in the UI press material. Those numbers came from the clinical program used to support approval. 
Jim, what are your thoughts about this story? You know, that is an illustration of how much we are advancing and at a rapid pace on finding the ultimate cure for diabetes. Now, this gentleman, Ed, he was a diabetic and had one of these procedures in 2011 or 2012, and uh, it bought him 12 years without insulin. So perhaps with certain individuals, they're going to need a regeneration or a top off, if you will, for lack of a better expression, with immune cell transplantation from time to time. I don't know. The one thing I do know is it has made him non-diabetic for a second time. Now, I also want to mention that immunosuppression is still involved, but this gentleman had immunosuppressive drugs in him for 11 years, had no side effects. So I don't want us to get hung up on that. Obviously, the ultimate goal is without immunosuppression, but in the meantime, it's a good bridge toward getting healthy and becoming non-diabetic. So let's focus on the positive. And uh, this also shows that Lentidra is an effective drug in the whole process. And I see nothing but upside here, and I hope you feel the same way. We'll have another exciting video for you here real soon on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim, and I hope you have a great weekend.